What is up guys, my name is Deductive Rain, and today we're going to be checking out the Automobilista Kart Extreme mod at Fontana Speedway. Uh, we have a 20 lap race here at Fontana Speedway with 28 AI cars. It's going to be a pretty good one, but first we have to hop into qualifying right now. So I already have a preloaded setup that I'm just going to load onto this car. Select it here, load, and we should be ready to go. Pit lane is still closed right now, so I have to just sit here and wait for them to open it. Wait for this session to begin. Make sure all the car's electronics are set. And there we go. Green flag is out for the session. It's a 10, uh, 10 minute qualifying session. I almost said 10 seconds. That'd be pretty fast. Key to this is being smooth and consistent. We have 100% AI difficulty here. Pillar got stuck there. And high AI aggression, so whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, we'll find out. I'm driving as Michael Andretti in this race, of course, Mark Andretti fan. Got to drive in the family, you know? And the quite beautiful Swift chassis from 1998. Not sure the exact name. David Lyon, just comment down below since I know you're watching. Also, for um, sakes of just keeping this race pretty simple, I did turn off fuel and tire wear. Uh, but we do have all damage on, so... I do need to keep that in mind before I make some risky moves. Finishing some warm-up laps here. Let's uh, try to get a good one in. Turns three and four is really tricky. The car just wants to slide up the track. I just want to keep it as low as possible. It seems to be the line that's working for me. It would really help if I could get in the tow, but right now we're kind of just stuck where we are, so managing P3 so far, which is not too bad. Twelve cars have qualified so far. I just get a lucky break up here. Some cars slowing. Let's see if we can get a tow. Fantastic. That worked out perfectly, so I'm just going to get to the back straight away and just back out of this lap because I'm really satisfied with that one. P1 so far. Six minutes left in the session. We're just going to park it and see where it gets us.
damn nearly hit a car in front there. So there it is guys, starting on pole for my first ever race on this channel. You can see Alan Sir Jr. starting second. He was just under three hundredths of a second behind me in qualifying, so uh, this should be a really interesting race. Let's get going. Rolling start here. No formation lap, just straight to it. Alonso immediately to the outside. Watch out, full course yellow. Full course yellow. It's going to be a safety car. Lost three positions there at the start. We're racing back to the line in case you're wondering why I haven't slowed down yet. And there you go, P4. Typically, if I'm honest, there is a lot of lap one carnage with this track, so um, I'm not at all surprised if I'm honest. See a lot of debris there on the back straightaway. There's a tire down there, some wings. We're going to try to avoid this as best as we can. I think I might just clip something. That's a rear wing to someone's car. More debris down. There's another tire to the left down there. All the way up here as well, there's another tire, so obviously a big impact. And another one uh, down in the turn three grass, so. No pit stops to worry about or anything, so we're going to skip ahead to the green here. Pace car coming in right now. Going back to green. We lost a couple of laps, but it's all right. All in the name of the game. Massive run on Greg Moore. Let's see if we can maybe reclaim the lead here. No, not quite. Do need to be a little bit careful in the slipstream. These cars get a little loose. Adrian Fernandez with a huge run from fifth place. Fernandez makes a move up to P3. Car got a little loose there, as you saw. And right there, ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's easy to manage, but yeah, you definitely do lose time. And for those wondering, I am using a Thrustmaster TX wheel right now with the Formula One 2011, I believe, rim and T3 PA Pro pedals. Alright, so we're all the way back to P5 here. It's time to uh, start making some moves. Not sure why Adrian slowed down mid-turn there, but hey, I'll take a position. Chasing down Al Unser, though. Al Unser Jr. He is an extremely fast car by the looks of it, so it's not going to be an easy one. A 
here comes Adrian. And, oh man, we also have Fittipaldi. Oh, oh, Fittipaldi's into me. Did not expect him to be that... Oh, man. Yeah, that's all my fault, but... Would have expected him to back out of that. Should listen to my spotter next time. Huge run there again. Considering shifting up to six at the end of the straightaway when I'm in the slipstream, but I don't know, I might just lose more time than gain it. Try it out. Al Unser's holding a steady lead by the looks of it, but I don't know. If we're just continuing the battle for second here, ooh, man. Only have six laps to go at the line. Don't have all day to make a move here. Oh man, are we gonna go three wide? Three wide, that's just not what I wanna do. That's just not what I wanna do. Oh my god. Made a little bit of contact there, hopefully no damage. No, I don't think we have anything for Unser. He is just a rocket ship out front there. My bigger concern right now is Adrian Fernandez. And Fittipaldi, for that matter. Can't move up now. <laughs> oh man. What racing though, this is great. I'm loving this. <laughs> I think 
if I'm honest, this is the best oval racing AI experience I've ever had on a racing title. With the yellow flags and the, you know, the competitive racing that these guys are doing, they're not making stupid moves. Forgot to shift down there. I'm sorry, Fittipaldi. Oh, no. No, he wasn't yielding. We have Greg Moore right there as well. All right, this is it. White flag coming up. See what I can do. As long as I dare, stay in that slipstream. The just the run he gets off the turn is absolutely insane. And there we go. Holding that bottom line, P2. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, that just might be the best oval race with AI I've ever had. Man, oh, man, that's fun. And I'll tell you what, at the time of this recording, Automobilista is, I believe, $12 on the Steam sale on PC. So... Check it out if you have a PC that can handle it, for sure. It's absolutely an amazing game. And the Card Extreme mod and this track to, develop, to the developers of both. Great job is all I can really say on that one. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll catch you in the next one.